If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Hi, welcome to Learn Geometer series. In this season 2 episode 8, we are going to see about CSS selector extractor. In last video, we have seen about James Path JSON extractor. Now we will see how to leverage CSS selector to extract values from the HTML response using the uh, CSS or jQuery based syntax. By default, JMeter has two types of implementations when it comes to uh, CSS or jQuery based syntax. One is JSOUP, which is the uh, default implementation and another one is JARD Legato. If you're not selecting any implementation, by default, it will take the JSOUP uh, implementation. And this is how it looks in your uh, JMeter uh, test plan. It is pretty much very similar to uh, regex or gems path or json path where you'll be able to apply to the field where you want to uh, apply the rules and uh, you can select the implementation and you have to uh, give a name for your variable and you have to write the expression and optionally you can mention the attribute and you have to mention the match number so match number here uh, which is very similar to regex zero is for random minus one is for all the occurrences and you can mention the number where it will go to the uh, nth occurrence and a default value you can enter uh, if there is no match found uh, this value will be passed along in the uh, subsequent requests like any other uh, tester you will get a css selector tester in your vrucells tree uh, this will be very handy to test your uh, expressions so if you go to view results tree and select the uh, CSS selector tester and you can mention your selector uh, and attribute and uh, select the implementation type and if you click on test it will display the results. So this is one of the uh, simple uh, uh, CSS selector where it will select the all the uh, input uh, elements with the attribute uh, values basically it will extract all the input element and the values and then display it in the uh, result. Now let's uh, go for a quick demo for demonstration purpose i am going to leverage computer database dot gatling dot io so this is a simple uh, database uh, kind of website where you'll be able to add a computer and you can search and then you can navigate inside the uh, uh, details and you can do uh, very basic operations so what our objective here is uh, we will be searching for a keyword say for example uh, macbook right uh, and if you click on filter by name it will display the uh, macbook related uh, items so our objective is to click on the very first link in the result so this will exactly match uh, whatever the keyword you enter it will uh, exactly match uh, with the result and we are going to click on the link there are multiple ways you can uh, implement you can use the regular uh, uh, regular expression uh, extractor or you can go with the css selector so if the web page is very complex and you have a lot of uh, elements attributes uh, definitely css selector will be very handy to identify the uh, element okay so now let's go to uh, jmeter and let us add a thread group and here inside the thread group let us add the http request and in the uh, protocol https and in the server name we are going to copy this and here actually it is http it is not secured website and in the path we are going to enter the uh, computers uh, and the uh, the keyword is uh, macbook and in the next request what we are going to do is we are going to click on that link so here it is a search page and here a product page so we can mention say first product page and let us uh, change the keyword to uh, mac uh, book with the capital m and uh, capital b so that it will uh, uniquely identify the first link okay so here let us add a view results tree just to debug and uh, we, we can add the debug sampler as well and hit on save and our objective is to extract the link basically so to extract the link what we can do um, let us run 
this one anyway this one will fail so let us uh, copy this again and server name also and the path let us uh, fill it later so before we uh, add the uh, post processor let us uh, play around with the css expressions so just to go to view results tree and select the uh, css selector tester and this will bring up the uh, response and the uh, the tester window so here we are going to uh, let us start with very simple uh, example so assume that we are going to retrieve a title so we are just deviating from our objective here but it's okay we'll come back uh, to the link extractor uh, later so if you want to extract title uh, what you can do is just uh, select uh, just enter the uh, title selector and click on test so this is optional attribute is optional so this will give you the title of the uh, page basically it's a computer database so if you go to your uh, uh, in the browser you can see the title is at the top it is displaying computer database so now we can make sure our selector is working fine so now assume that I want to extract the uh, uh, paragraph tags. Actually, there is no paragraph tag. Uh, what we can do is we can go with the, uh, say, table. How many tables are there? So let us uh, enter the table element. So here you can see it is there is only one table. And let us find the uh, anchor tags. How many links are there? So just to identify the, all the anchor tags, we can enter uh, just A and type uh, uh, click on test. It will give you all the anchor tags inner text. So this is the inner text, add a new computer, computer name. So everything is a link here, right? So this is what it is extracting. But uh, now I want to extract the uh, the URL basically. So how do I uh, get the URL? So in this case, uh, every anchor tag has an attribute here. You can see ahref and uh, ahref here and then a class uh, ahref. So you can enter the attribute as a href here. If you click on test, it will extract all the hrefs basically. But this will extract everything. So even if we see uh, ascending, uh, dis uh, descending order MacBook and then ascending order MacBook. So it will extracting everything. So now we have to extract only the first link which is coming in the results page. So how do we extract it? So basically we can write, uh, there are multiple ways you can extract. So one of the simple ways we can write something uh, say contains. So if the text contains this MacBook, then identify that. So how do we write the contains? So there's a syntax uh, available in the JSOP website. So here uh, the syntax will be like uh, like this. So a colon contains and the uh, text. So text will be uh, MacBook. And we have to extract the uh, attribute href. And if you click on test, so it will extract everything uh, every uh, link which has the MacBook, but if you see the first one uh, slash 89, that is the exact match because every time our application will display the exact match in the results, then only it will go with the other uh, matches. So we can say uh, this is the match we want to extract and uh, this is the link we will be sending it in the subsequent request. So if you delete this href and click on test, you can see it is displaying the MacBook. And here you can see all the uh, text. So this is the text. It is displaying it in your web page. Okay, now uh, let us copy this. And in the search page, uh, we can add a post processor by right clicking on the add post processor and the CSS selector extractor. So here, no need to select the uh, implementation. Uh, by default, it will go to JSOP. And in the variable, we can give the uh, variable uh, extract underscore link and the expression is uh, our expression and the attribute is uh, href and the uh, match number is one and say no product uh, found. This is the default text. So now uh, we have to copy this extract underscore link and go to the first product page and enter here. So this will uh, go to the uh, computers slash 89. So basically it will extract the computers slash 89 and then it will go here. So we have to make it as a syntax here, dollar curly braces, uh, close curly braces so that it will uh, go uh, with the, uh, the value of the variable which we extracted in the previous uh, response. So now let us uh, run our script, we will see. So this is uh, our request 
macbook and this is our request computers 89 okay now we have to test this so this is working for macbook so what what will happen if i go with the other product so let us uh, do a quick test here so apple so this is my keyword and uh, here also let us go with the apple and if i go with uh, run now so the first request is apple and the second uh, request is computers 55 so this is the response so we can validate i can go to uh, html download resources and go to response data here you can see apple one and if you go here you can see macbook like this you can validate uh, your uh, keywords and whether it is working fine or not so here let us go with the uh, other uh, product say acer okay so here so this one might not work because it, there is no exact match but uh, yeah you got the gist right so you have to play around and uh, you have to write the exact uh, syntax based on your needs then you'll be able to extract the uh, values from the html response so if you go with acer uh, i don't think it will uh, match but probably you can test it so it will fail i believe we'll see okay no so it is it didn't fail so okay it is going with the again acer extensor because contains right so contains means uh, acer extensor uh, has the string acer so that is why it is going with the first occurrence so it works so it's good right so this is how you learn so if you are not uh, sure about the syntax you can go to the uh, jsoup uh, website and there they have a lot of examples uh, jsoup.org if you go and if you click on the uh, api reference and here you can see a lot of examples are there so you can go through and you can write your expressions uh, very easily so i hope this uh, session is uh, very useful and uh, if you have any questions please ask in the comments or uh, you can sign up uh, at uh, community.qinsights.com where i will be able to uh, hang around with you if you have any questions or uh, we have other team members uh, they also will be able to help you out so thanks for watching uh, if you have a time please go to my next tutorial and have a good day thank you if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel